It's time to divorce self-acceptance from change. It's time to divorce love from change. They're not connected. <laughs> this notion of loving yourself as you are right now, of just loving yourself exactly as you are and not asking anything to change, accepting that this is your being in this moment. And it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's perfect the way that it is. And it continues to be perfect through every moment, through the extension of this moment. It's never not perfect. There's this piece in the mind that says, but if I love myself now, if I accept everything as it is now, then it's never going to change. But that's not true. First of all, that's not true. Change happens. The world of form changes. That's what it does. It shifts. It evolves. It grows. And why is it that we would be worried about something not changing? Because there's still this perception that it has to change in order for us to be worthy of love, in order for us to be good, in order for things to be good, in order for us to feel good. If I'm accepting myself, if I'm just feeling good now, then nothing's going to change. But I only wanted those things to change so that I could feel good. And I'm doing it now. Why not see that that additional step is not related? It's not necessary. <laughs> And it's a lost cause in the first place because either you're wanting things to change so that you can feel good or you're wanting things not to change so that you can feel good. So divorce feeling good from change. And what does it mean to feel good? Really, it means to accept. It means to fully invite and embrace your being as it is. And your being is everything. So when you are accepting yourself as you are and loving yourself in this moment for simply being, you are loving all that is that way. You are saying to the entirety of the universe, you're perfect. This is perfect because we're one and all of it is right, right now. And when you're looking outside of you and saying, this is perfect, all of this is perfect as it is, not because of what it was, not because of what it's going to be, because of what it is. You're showering that same love upon yourself. You're never excluded from that. There is no exclusion. It's all. It's always all, all. <laughs> so it's time to let go of change as a precursor to loving. Love never changes. And when you're in that place of realization, when you start, when you get there, when you step into that sanctuary of loving yourself exactly as you are in this moment, not needing yourself to change, you open it all up. Then change becomes a game. Change is not for a purpose. Change doesn't have an end that it is the means to. It's not trying to achieve anything and it doesn't prevent anything. Change actually doesn't change the one thing that matters, which is your feeling good, which is your loving yourself. Change doesn't affect that because you're doing it every single moment. Every moment you're seeing, I'm exactly as I should be. I'm worthy. I am loved. I am appreciated and supported. I'm well. I'm secure. I'm safe. I'm stable. Just like this. Just like I am right now. Not needing to do anything. And if I did anything, it wouldn't change that. If anything outside changed, this wouldn't change. Because they're not connected. So now the world of change, the world of form, opens up as something that you can play in. Because it doesn't alter base reality. It doesn't alter the truth of love. 
You are feeling love. You are feeling loved. And feeling very good as a result of it. All these things that we're trying to change, we're trying to change because we think they'll make us feel good. All we want is to feel good. We can feel good right now by loving ourselves the way that we are right now. And continuing that practice through the now because it's always now. You can always love yourself the way you are right now because you're always yourself right now. And all it takes is a shift of focus. It's always now. <laughs> it's never not now. When you're not needing anything to change, you can allow all the change to simply happen. And it's just fun to watch, to observe, to see how it flows. Now things are free to change, but they don't change you. They don't change your experience of love and joy. That's on a separate level. It's on a different layer, in a different dimension of existence that is untouched by anything in this one and unable to be altered. That's the base. And all it takes is, is continuously remembering this, bringing ourselves back again and again to this, the home base of unconditional love in this moment of our being. And when we forget it, we remember it again. And when we remember it again, we remember all the times that we remembered it. And we know, we see, we remember that we're probably gonna forget again, but that we'll remember. <laughs> and all of that is building, is building more momentum. We're building a muscle memory a spiritual muscle, an energetic muscle, the muscle of unconditional love and acceptance. The more we do it, the more we practice it, the stronger it gets, the better it feels to exercise that muscle, then the easier it becomes. So let go of change. Change happens, change happens. But everything that changes ultimately is illusory. We get to play with it, we get to have fun, we get to watch it, we get to swim in it and dance with it and just enjoy it. The unfolding of this continuous adventure. But none of the change affects the way that we feel. The way that we feel is separate from the change. It's entirely based upon the unconditional love and acceptance of the self in this moment exactly as it is. And that is something that is 100% always within our power. Nothing affects that. My power to love and accept myself is always mine. It's always present, present tense. I can always engage that muscle and step into that place of acceptance of myself, my pure being, the way that it is. Saying, I need nothing to change for me to love myself, to feel good and safe and supported. And even if things do change, and they will, this doesn't change. Nothing that changes changes my feeling of being loved. <laughs> It's there eternally. That's what it means to be unconditional in your loving. Unconditional. This moment right now exactly as it is and all of them exactly as they are. Whatever change isn't present or is present in appearance. Doesn't matter. Not relevant. Not related. All of it is loved. All of it is perfect. All of it is exactly the way that it should be. Because it's the way that it wants to be. That's it. It's time to let go of change as a tool for anything, as a means to anything, as a mechanism. It, it's not needed. It happens, but it's not needed. So whatever changes or doesn't change 
has no effect on your experience of joy and well-being. Because all it takes to feel those things is to love yourself. We can do that right now. We can stop making change a middleman. Because change is an unreliable middleman. It's continuously changing. <laughs> if we're dependent upon changes to feel good, then that's a very unstable feeling good. Because it's always shifting. It's always changing. So separate feeling good from change. Let, let that just be what it is. And recognize all it takes to feel good in this moment is to accept it. Is to accept yourself within it. Because you are the present moment and you are everything contained within it. But you are also the container of it. So focus on this being. This is your access to all of that. This is your gateway to everything else right here. Loving the self, accepting the self, having only more compassion and grace for yourself, showing yourself so much love, so much appreciation for your simply being, letting yourself be understanding, really seeing that you're enough, that this is enough. You are good right here, right now, just like this. You're good. <sighs> and that's feeling good, removed from anything else, any circumstances. Now all of the circumstances don't alter this. They only fuel this. They only fuel this. We only become more unconditional in our loving, which means we only feel more love. It only grows. It only gets bigger and better. That is the magic of unconditional love. Everything feeds it. Everything fuels it. Everything makes it more. Unconditional love only expands. It only increases. There's no diminishment. There's no entropy here. It's perpetually growing. <laughs> because everything feeds it. So we only get to feel more good. <laughs> we only get to feel more loved and loving. And that is the joyful journey of eternity. <laughs> Knowing only more of the self, loving the self only more, and then just appreciating the change. The change without all of the stuff that appears to change, but this remains stable. All of that just fuels this. Just makes it bigger, makes it stronger. That's how you know the eternity of your being. That's how you know eternal life. That's how you know your infinity, your boundlessness, your endlessness, your true power, that you are untouchable. Nothing touches you. Nothing can stop you from being, from growing, from feeling good, from loving. Because all of it only increases those things. Change is not an enemy. Change is just change. It doesn't affect anything. Certainly not your ability to love yourself. So start right now. Just loving, showing yourself more compassion and grace than you ever have. When you feel it for you, you feel it for all, because we're all the same self. The more compassion you show yourself, the more compassion you are showing to others. Again, this is your access point. It starts with you. It's all about you. <laughs> Any action that is taken for the self, this one, the personal one, is taken for all self.
an action that is devoid of self, that is selfless, serves no one, honors no one, honors no self. If the self is not involved in this action, if my self, my personal self, is not the focus and the one that benefits from this action, then it's not benefiting any self. So let me be of benefit to myself. Let me be the one to say I don't need to be loved and accepted by anyone because all I want is to feel loved and accepted and I can feel that by giving that to myself right now. And I don't need to change to do it and I don't need anything not to change to do it. Right now, I love my being exactly as it is. And whatever form it takes, whatever that looks like, I love it. No matter what. That's true love. And that's what we're here to feel, to practice, to share with one another. And we start by sharing it with ourselves. That's being the source within you. That's being, that's embodying your soul, your true self, which is always loving you perfectly. Never for a single second is that interrupted, is that changed. Always adoring, appreciating, showering you in perfect, unconditional love. And when you do that for yourself, you are in alignment with yourself. You are being your true self, your whole self, which is just delighting in this, basking in this right now, just, just sitting there like this, just admiring you, just admiring your being because it's so amazing and it's so perfect right now. And continuously, it, it continues to be. It's never not perfect. And that's how your soul feels. That's how you feel about you, truly. It's just this undying devotion. You're perfect. You're precious. You are exactly right. Exactly the way that you should be. And that can never change. No matter what appears to shift, this never shifts. Because you're just perfect the way that you are. That's what the soul is saying each and every moment. Step into that place of alignment with yourself, with that which you truly are, and feel the fullness of the love that is yours, that is from you, that is for you. Feel how good that feels. Feel how safe and stable that is. Feel the way that you can know whatever happens. This is unaltered. This is continuous. This is perpetual right here. And now you're free. You're free because it doesn't matter what happens. You have what you want which is love, to love and be loved perfectly, continuously, unconditionally, in an uninterrupted, continuous stream for all time, which is infinite. This is yours. And if ever we step out of this stream, which we do with great frequent frequency, I mean, I do all the time, the stream doesn't change. It doesn't go away. It doesn't shift. And all it ever takes is stepping back into it again and again. We're just practicing. Pretty soon, we'll start departing less and less. We'll still do it for the contrast, but we'll do it with greater awareness. We'll do it with the knowledge of what it is we're doing. And that stream will never be out of sight. We'll always have a finger in it, a toe dipped in. We'll always have that lifeline of connection 
to the knowledge of our well-being and worthiness and our perfect, unconditional belovedness each and every moment. And the more we shine that for ourselves, the more we shine that for everyone and everything. The more everyone and everything feels that, the more it taps into its own knowledge of it. We're just powering everything up with the one true source of perpetual energy, perpetual motion, unconditional love. <laughs> so that's it. Change and love are not related. Love never changes. Feel into that space. All we want is to feel good, to feel accepted, to feel appreciated. That doesn't rely on anything changing. That doesn't depend on change and it doesn't need anything not to change. We can just do that right now. No other steps, nothing in between, just accepting my being exactly as it is, loving and appreciating it for what it is in this moment. And I sure do love you. Exactly as you are. So it is. <laughs>